So we start the tour. The first day of the tour happens. The first show's at Neck of the Woods in uh, San, San Francisco. Uh, hmm. This was with this is the Bloodletting Nine tour. Neck of and the Woods. I've never heard of that spot. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't even know if it's still around, but we played there. Mm. We made it there. The van made it. Yeah. Uh, we, we're like, cool. Uh, nothing's going wrong yet. And so we play the show, and it was an awesome show. I think Fallujah hopped on that date of the show. I remember they were playing that. Um, and we, it was a great show, and saw all the homies of San Francisco. And we, on the way home, I'm driving. I'm like, oh, this is this tour is gonna be awesome. All of a sudden, the I hear like a shkunk, like inside mm. the car, inside the hood of the car. Uh. And all of a sudden, the power steering went out, and I was like, Ugh! like I, I was on the freeway, just like. Ugh! I was just like, it was so hard to turn. It was like, yeah, yeah. You were like muscling the steering wheel to actually turn. So you, you uh, wait, so wait, wait, real quick. You threw a serpentine belt. It was the serpentine belt. It was, yeah. It just popped. It fucking broke. And uh, so we uh, got to our drummer's house and fucking uh, we're like, dude, we got to take it to a mechanic. We have a show tomorrow. And uh, I think we had to drive to like Los Angeles or some shit from there. Like, all right, we got to take it to the mechanic at 6 a.m. Like, that's the only time they'll see us. So this is like the first day of tour. We're like, oh, fuck, what's happening? What kind of van Sleep. is it? Uh, I think it was a Ford E-150. E is, okay. is that okay. it? It was the shittiest one, probably. All right, so where are you, uh, where, you guys, where are you guys? You found a spot wherever you were, like the closest Yeah, I was in shop. San Jose by our drummer's house. And they, okay. they're like, all right, it's a serpentine belt. It was like 700 bucks for labor and which is probably a lot of money just to put in a new belt. But we pay that. We're like, fuck, dude. We're already coming out of pocket. Wait, how much? Damn, that sucked. Wait, how it's much? like 700 Sorry. bucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they probably ripped us off. I don't know. We were just like, here's money. Here we go. All you got to do it. is get the, you yeah. get the air cleaner out of the way, dude. It takes like 10 <laughs> minutes to get that out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> Trap's Tar- Trap Taranato would probably be like, you know, they're at the bottom. Yeah, yeah let's just send <laughs> everybody who's a fan of the podcast to my work. I, hey, I am actually, think alike, Bill. I'm a satisfied customer. <laughs> Me too. Trap's Taranato. What up? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> South San Francisco, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Come see Anthony. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony put tires on uh, my car. Sick, and dude. This is going to be awesome, dude. Hit that shit up. Dude. This but, is your uh, commercial, Anthony. <laughs> fuck. What am I thinking? There's probably zero people would ever show up. Probably. Oh, dude. Fuck. We're going even deeper. Into it. Now people are gonna be like, oh, dude. Let's figure this out. Use a yeah. promo code uh, marijuana. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But anyway. I got to meet his brother too. It was rad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Vince. Um, Fucking. Shout that out. That wasn't the end of the van. So the. Yeah. <laughs> So we're like sick. We're back on the road. Our, we're driving to LA. We're playing at the uh, airliner. The airliner, I think, was the venue. And we're like, we're driving down, uh, down to uh, Los Angeles, and all of a sudden there's steam coming out of the hood, and we're like, oh <laughs> fuck, what the shit? Like mm-hmm. it's like, like white steam's coming out, which yeah. is like coolant burning basically. Mm-hmm. And we're like, what the fuck, dude? So we had to like pull over. And we were like, got to this gas station and realized it was torching the coolant. Like the coolant was super low. We we're like, oh fuck! So we bought like a couple gallons of the fucking Kool Aid and poured it in the you know coolant, mm-hmm. poured it in there. Uh, I hope got it back wasn't on the road. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Slurpees and shit. So we got the green uh, Kool Aid and we fucked it. Yeah, and that shit. Would you pop? You, you busted a hose. You bust a hose. Or Dude, you... it just, I don't know what it was, but we had to keep adding more and more coolant. So it probably was leaking somehow. Yeah. Uh, but we had to pull off the road like every 40 minutes, 30 minutes, because we'd watch the temperature gauge go, just like, so you get, get up there and you're like, fuck, we got to pull over again, pour in more coolant get back on the road we're like we're gonna make it to the show dude we're so dumb just we're like 23 or whatever just like oh yeah. God. and this is the second Determined, show on like dude. a u.s Determined. tour dude yeah uh and we fucking the thing stops going in reverse like we get that to the is point totally where nothing to do with dude, what the you're transmission. talking about <laughs> like, it's everything going wrong apart, dude <laughs> like we get to LA and we're gonna like back into a spot and we're like it's not going in reverse. <laughs> so we had to get out and push from the front. We're like, all right, two people hop out, push the car like yeah. into we got a parallel park, just get so all this anytime we had to park in LA, we had to like have two people hop out the side door and push from the front of the van. <laughs> 
So we like get to the venue and we're like, what the fuck? We're like, we got to play a show right now. At least we made it to the second show. We haven't missed a show. And this van and we're just like, this is a nightmare, dude. We're going to fucking, what are we going to do? Like, this is so bad. Like we're tripping. Uh, So we play the show and we're like, so my brother lives, lived in LA at the time. And we're like, dude, uh, can you help us? Like, we need to rent a van. We need to ditch this van for sure. Like, we're not going anywhere yeah, else in this yeah. thing. And his girlfriend at the time, like, was super nice and let us, like, use her credit card to rent a van uh, for uh, from the airport. Mm-hmm. And so we just ditched the van at, at his house. We're like, we're going to leave this here and have fun. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. yeah, so we rent a 12-passenger Ford yeah and we're back on the road and that thing slays it's got ac fucking cd player we're like all right now we're doing it even though it's so expensive we're like uh we're not gonna make any money well dude that's already the case you like that van like four of the major components of the vehicle all went awry for you (laughs) in that first trip dude. dude i called the mechanic after the tour i was like dude like is there anything to do like a refund yeah like can you help us in some way and that's unfortunately like what's fucked up about our industry dude is that like the honest shops like us dude we're honest dude and we always get looked at like we're gonna fucking scam you we're gonna take your money yeah and that people who if someone doesn't understand something (laughs) they're like i'm probably sponsored by a trap tire not a center (laughs) straight up (laughs) 